bothering right now. Sure. That was very helpful, kind of, because I can go back and I can. Okay, let me share this. Right. Mm. Okay, dokie. We're going to take a look at something different. We've been looking at verbs a lot, we've been looking at the past, the present, whatnot. Let's talk a little bit for, um, for the time being, talking about verbs. We're going to take a look at comparative. Okay. Um, Okay, this one should be. Okay, let's start with this one. Right. So we have two kind of comparative, or actually three kind of comparative. Okay, so you could say something is more than something else, more whatever than something else. You could say something is the most whatever, okay. or you could say that something is as whatever as something else. Or even less, whatever, than something else. Yeah. So let's start with the more than. So more than basically is mass, yes, and then the adjective. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it's a long adjective, a short adjective. It's not like in English. You always say mass adjective k. So for example, here, like say mass, we we can also say mass bajo. Or there yeah, is not... any any adjective. Okay. So let's take a look at this sentence here. Uh, let me point it out uh, in blue. Okay. Uh, all right. So here we have el Guadiana es el... más largo que el Guadalquivir. So I'm comparing two rivers here. Okay. I say one river is longer than Large. the other river. Okay. okay, remember largo means long. It does not mean large. large okay. Oh, oh, largo is long. Mm -hmm. This is a false friend. Okay. If you want to say large, we simply say grande. Mm -hmm. ah. Another comparative. Uh, to the other side here. Marta mm -hmm. es menos inteligente, claro. I'm saying, I'm now using the opposite. I'm saying menos. Which less, is less less intelligent than Lara. Or exactly. Lara. Mm -hmm. So Marta is less intelligent than Laura. Quite easy. So basically, it's más or menos adjective que va. Okay. As simple as that. Now let's take a look at the superlative, the one that basically is the most blah, 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 yeah? Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same as before. So now we're gonna do that in red, for example. So this one is superlative. So el Ebro es el río más largo de España. So notice here a big difference from English. So the first difference you're gonna notice from English is that Spanish plays the noun before the adjective. Okay? okay. So that means if you wanna say something like She's the most beautiful woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In Spanish, you're going to change the order completely. So first, you're going to say the woman. It's and most... then you're going to say most beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. So like in this example, el Ebro es el río más largo. So I said, literally, I'm saying the river most long. Right? Okay. And then de yeah. España. In so, Spain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need the article. Remember that? We always need the el or la. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the noun, the más or menos, and then the adjective. Okay, so let, let me show you another example of this. Now with the word menos. So Jorge es el menos inteligente de la clase. Okay, in this case, we are omitting the noun, okay? It's also possible. So you could omit the, the noun, but you still need the article. Okay. So, so instead el... of saying el chico menos inteligente, you just omit chico, for example, and you just say el menos inteligente, because we wow. understand by context. I see. I see. It's like el... saying, it's like in English you say the, the least intelligent one. Mm -hmm. When you say that one in English, 
as a pronoun in Spanish it's just omitted. Okay. Yeah. So here el menos so no noun el menos inteligente. So the el menos inteligente is the least intelligent one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what is it? Right. I think it's way easier than English. <laughs> In English, you have to, sometimes you have to add IR or EST. In Spanish, it's pretty much the same. So, let's take a look at some more examples. Alberto es más trabajador que su padre. Okay. So, more hard Work. working. Yeah? So, trabajador is hard working. Okay. Mm -hmm. Than his father. father. No. Chile está más poblado que Argentina. So, more populated. Yeah? Than Argentina. Yeah. Yeah. El Everest es... es más alto que el Tate. So, Everest is taller. Or more taller. taller. Mm -hmm. Than Tate. Okay. Pretty much that. No, I don't think you will have any problem with this. Now, let's take a look at the most which is quite similar. So what is the difference? The difference is you're gonna have the article. El, la, los, las. Mm -hmm. You always have this bit. Then you might have a noun, okay. which is optional, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna have más, if you wanna say most. If you wanna say least, you're gonna say menos. Okay. An adjective, and then this de, de is also optional. Like if you want to talk about the group where the person or the thing stands out, then you, you include this day. Let, let's look at some examples. For example, Alberto es el más trabajador de su familia. Okay. So Alberto is the most hard working in, in family. his family. So notice we say de. de here. Yeah. But then I get this bit, it's optional. If you don't want to say, his family just finish with trabajador. Yeah. So Alberto es el más trabajador. You can also say that. Buenos Aires es la ciudad más poblada de su de América del Sur. Okay, so most populated city in the South uh -huh. America. Uh -huh. El Everest es, es la montaña más alta del mundo. So highest mountain in the world. Uh -huh. Now. Let's take a look at the opposite. So now we're going to say less and least. So Paraguay está menos poblado que Uruguay. Less populated than Uruguay. Mm -hmm. Hugo es menos simpático que Rodri. So less nice. Nice and very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Paraguay es el país menos poblado de América del Sur. So the least country. Populated. And notice here again the order is different, so, totally different from English. So we always play the noun before the adjective. Yeah, okay? so el is the article, país is the noun, the country, then menos, then poblado. So that's mm -hmm. the adjective. Yeah. Hugo es el menos simpático de mis amigos. Mm -hmm. Then it's so, friends. It's nice, then it's friends. So in this case, I just remove the noun because we understand I mean a friend. So the least. Uh, the least nice friend yeah? mm -hmm. or the least nice directly okay there are a few irregular forms however we have the word mayor mm -hmm, sure. and the plural mayores so mm -hmm. this comes from viejo okay. so why do we say mayor and we don't say más viejo because if you it's like in english actually if you say Older, it sounds uh, a little bit rude, right? To say old, yeah, especially okay. when you're talking to people. Well, so, mayor is like a nice version of más viejo, okay? And also, you could use this word to talk about the elderly. So, for example, you could talk about los mayores, right? And the same happened with the word joven. So, okay. if you want to say like younger, and menor, you, menor. menor a menor is like a, a more cultivated form of the, the comparative. I mean, you could also say más joven, but menor sounds like more educated. Yeah. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. And then again, you could also use the now los menores, which means people that are under 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have the expression menor de edad. So an underage person. Mm -hmm. And we have los mayores, which are the elderly. Elderly. Okay. okay. Um, this Malo. one, malo and bueno. Mm, some people might say más malo, más bueno, but this is incorrect. Actually, you should say peor, mejor. Okay. And yes, you also have the uh, plural form, peores y mejores. Yeah? Yeah. So, peor means uh, worse. Mejor means better. If you want to say the worst or the best, as simple as, simple as adding an article. Uh -huh. So, el mejor o la mejor, it depends if you talk about woman or dog, plural, singular. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the same with el mayor or mayor. So, let's take a look at some examples. Mario is mayor que Javi. So is elder than Mario is elder than Javi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Andrés es el menor de todos mis hijos. So the youngest. Younger among the children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tu ordenador es peor que el mío. So your computer is worse than mine. Yeah, el yeah. mío. Mm -hmm. Estas naranjas son las mejores de España. So the best in Spain. Mm -hmm. So these oranges are the best in Spain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Difficult? I think it's quite easy. Yeah, this is, I think, easier than the the past. <laughs> the... Def definitely, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Um, okay. <clears throat> Uh, this is what is okay. Okay, let's go straight to the exercise. Um, okay, let's try number four here. Okay, so, um let me use the back. Okay. So, agua de Monteviejo, la bebida más sana. Okay. Actually, I don't like this camera. Okay, let's try the last one. That's why I like it better. Okay. So, so you have to use either a comparative, superlative, and then if it's necessary, uh, del que o de lo que. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, wait a moment, I forgot this bit. Let me go back, because I missed something. Uh, and this is kind of important. Uh, where is this late? The loke. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry. This, is, uh, this bit is important. Okay, usually, as I mentioned before, what we are comparing, we say more, más, menos, adjetivo, Que, then another thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. But sometimes we have a full sentence, right? We don't have a thing or a person or an animal. We have a full sentence or a, a verb even, right? So, for mm -hmm. example, in English, you could say, it's easier than I thought. Uh, okay. So, when you have a verb or a full sentence with a verb, instead of saying que, you're going to say, de lo que. Okay. For yeah. example, this sentence here. Este piso es más barato de lo que pensábamos. Okay. So this flat is cheaper yeah. than we thought. Than we okay. thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is uh, imperfecto. Do you remember? Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Hoy es el día más feliz de mi vida. Um, and okay, with the superlative, we had the, so for example, I am the richest man in the world. So you say, soy el hombre más rico del mundo, right? Yeah. However, again, if you have a full sentence or a verb, instead of saying that, you're going to say que. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So for example, Elena es la chica más inteligente que conozco. Okay, then. Okay, then if you have something what we're talking about, 
it's not necessary to mention the second term of a comparison, for example. This TV is better, but is more expensive. Okay. So you really need to say damn blah 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 blah. Okay. okay. Because it's clear by the context. Or for example, this TV is the most expensive. So if you mean like in the shop, you don't really need to say. Okay. Like if you have a context, you don't really need to say the whole thing. Okay. Uh, okay, I think that's everything. Um, let's go to the last one. Uh, so Julia es la chica más alegre que conozco. So this is a superlative. Yeah. Uh, right. When I have a verb or a full sentence, instead of saying de, mm -hmm. I use que instead. Okay. okay. Uh, so chick, Julia is the most intelligent, sorry, the happiest or the most girl. joyful girl I know. Yeah. Number two. Marieta es mayor de lo que parece. So now we have de lo que. Okay, so this is a comparative. So, so Marieta is older than I think, kind of. That she looks like. Okay, for this, it seems okay. Oh, seems. that she seems. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Marietta is older than she looks like. Okay. Why do we say the loque and not uh, que? Because I have a full um, phrase here with a verb, yeah? Okay. Okay, number three. Para mí, el café de Colombia es, uh, uh, es the, then. Uh, is, um, so okay. it's the bueno. best, the best in the world. Yeah. So, buenos was uh, what I forgot the mal and the bueno like uh, es mejor. El mejor. El mejor. Yeah. Es el mejor uh, uh, del mundo. Like. Perfect. Okay. What happened here? So de we el... have de plus el yeah. goes to de. del. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, el mejor del mundo. Remember this sentence, el mejor del mundo. Yeah, best in the world. <laughs> yeah, best in the world in the Spanish. I think, <laughs> so, I've been talking about this with a person, you know, like, I think it's bad, it's easy to remember, like, uh, phrases than sing, uh, single words. I think it makes more sense to remember phrases because mm -hmm. later you can switch or you can change around so you can adapt it to your needs. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Four. Santiago uh, y Pedro son. Son, uh, so uh, let's say, the worst students in the class, for example. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it will be loss and uh, then mal, malos. What was what? Uh, mejor was bueno, malo was. Okay, let's include the word estudiante. Uh, Okay. Uh, so I want to say Santiago and Pedro are the worst students okay. in the class. Okay, so that should come first. The noun will mm -hmm. come. So, um, so student, so students is estudia. Uh, uh, est, uh, so, so. so los peores estudiantes, uh, right? Yeah. Okay. And Estudiant then what? What do I need? So, yeah, so the, it should be in la class, right? Because in the class, or de la class. De la class. Okay. Why? Because I just have a noun. I don't have a full sentence, okay? okay. When I say a full sentence, I mean a sentence that includes a verb. At least okay. it should have a verb. Okay. okay. And it could have something else, but the verb must be there, okay? Okay. Um, so, los peores estudiantes... De la clase. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, number five. La ruina de Machu Picchu son. Son, uh, okay, so son, uh, impresionante. So, um, it will be, uh, imp imp impressive to be the most impressive to visit. Mm -hmm. like, so, it will be uh, la, uh, la mejor uh, impresión. Uh, so, uh, uh, lo más, uh, lo más impresionante, ¿ya? Yeah? Impresionante, okay, impresionante. Mm -hmm. Lo más impresionante, and then I need uh, another word here to yes. connect. 
yeah so it, so here it shouldn't be there it should be k right because there exactly. is exactly exactly k he visto mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so or you could also say la ruina de machu picchu son las ruinas más impresionantes okay que he visto mm -hmm. yeah. okay six ramon es uh, la uh, so we talk about a guy, a boy, yeah. So yeah. yeah, so it'll be el. Uh, so 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 Ramon is el. Oh wait a moment. It's not the most, it's just more handsome. Okay, so we don't read the article. Yes, yeah, so, okay, okay, so then mas. Okay, so so Ramon is mas guapo. Uh uh keme this or okay. This is so the, this is the most Hamso or just more Hamso? Okay, so then uh, they may. Uh, okay, we are comparing here, right? Yeah, okay. We're saying this is. So he's more handsome than you said, right? Than okay. you told me. So so there will be K, right? So so K is. is a... um, okay, let's remember the rule. When I compare into things, uh -huh. Let's talk just about the last connector, okay? okay? You might have a noun or full sentence, right? So when I use a comparative, I compare it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could say, uh, for example, it is más alto que yo. Okay. Right? So this is que. Yeah. Here, however, I have a full sentence, okay? Because I have a, a verb there, yeah? So instead of saying que... Del que. Like, de lo que, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. So Ramon is más guapo de lo que me dijiste. Mm -hmm. okay. Seven. Uh, ¿Cuál es? Uh, uh, no okay, so. so the the best novel you've read. Yeah. 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 So okay. So uh, so so uh, so la mejor. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Novel, uh, novella uh, that que has played that I mm -hmm. have read. You have read, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, ocho. Rosita es uh, la. Uh, now we are comparing here. We talk, we compare Rosita with my sister. Oh, okay. So then it is just the mass kind of. So, mm -hmm. so Rosita es más viejo. Uh, Okay, you could say más vieja, but remember, women hate being called vieja. <laughs> <laughs> so we have another word, which is mayor uh, okay. de lo... Ah, sorry, it's not a verb. Oh, que yeah, yeah. que okay. mis hermanas. Mayor, okay. So, so mayor que mis hermanas. Mm -hmm. So Rosita is mayor que mis hermanas. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first thing like the vieja was mayor. Okay. Okay. Uh is that the loop? No, you don't sana the mass of scante. No. Uh it's kind of confusing. Okay, let's try number two. It seems interesting as well. Um, okay. So, ¿cuál es? So, la, so, la ciudad. Okay, ¿cuál es uh, uh, la ciudad uh, más grande de uh, Bolivia? Uh -huh. Cuatro. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? Volcán. El, el volcán más alto, uh, or, or, más alto uh -huh. de Perú. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? Uh, es contaminado. Uh, uh, la. La contaminado. Uh, no, no. La ciudad. Okay, remember, you need to place the noun before. La ciudad. Uh, uh, it will be menos contaminado de España. Conta okay, contaminada. It's feminine, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Seis. ¿Cuál es uh, la río? 
Uh, el más, río. Uh -huh. es el, okay. uh, el río más largo de, de México. México. México, México. México. Okay. Uh -huh. Siete. Uh, ¿Cuál es uh, la capital uh, más alto de Al América? Ok, alta. Alta. O oh, alta de es La capital. That's right. Uh -huh. Don't worry too much. Don't worry too much about that for the time being. Okay. We'll work on that. Okay. ¿Cuál es la isla? La isla que da island. Ok. Uh, uh -huh. Más pequeño del Caribe. Uh, ok. La isla. Entonces, so, más pequeño. Pequeño. Pequeña, ña, ña, ña. pequeña. Uh -huh. so, ¿Cuál es la isla más pequeña del Caribe? Uh -huh. Okay. Now we're going to see uh, equality. So, as tall as or the, the same uh, height as, etc. etc. Okay. okay, over here, mm, there are many ways. So maybe it's a little bit. Uh, more difficult than English, because we have several ways to do the same. So let's take a look at some examples. Um, so the simplest way basically is say tan adjective como. Okay. So tan adjective como basically means as, adjective as, blah, 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 yeah? Okay. For okay. example, Rosa es tan alegre como Jorge. So Rosa is as joyful as Jorge. Okay. Um, or for example, this one over here. Una bifi no es tan rápida como una moto. So a bike is not as fast as a motorbike. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. However, you could say that in two more ways, which are the one uh, you have at the bottom here. So Rosa es igual de alegre que Jorge. So that means, literally means, Rosa is equal of happy or joyful than George. Okay. Basically, is as joyful as George. It's exactly the same meaning, but just another way, yeah? Okay. Rosa y Jorge, or you could place the two nouns together. So, okay. Rosa y Jorge son igual de alegres. So, that means equally happy, uh, happy yeah? Rosa and, Rosa and Jorge. Mm -hmm. well, more happy is like joyful, okay? But anyway, oh, this one. Una bici no es igual de rápida que una moto. Oh, una bici y una moto no son igual de rápidas. Okay. Uh, if you want to remember one, remember the one at the top, which is the easiest one. But be aware that. Spanish is a very rich language, as you can see. Um, so you can say, many times you can say the same thing in several ways. Let's take a look at some other example. So, mis padres son tan mayores como los tuyos. Okay. Uh, as you already know, the adjective must agree in number and gender with the noun we're talking about. Mis padres, my parents, and tan mayores. Are uh, as... All as yours. Ah, uh, okay, lost mm -hmm. you. Remember, mayor is like a nice word for viejo. Yeah. Well, yeah. Los osos no son tan alto como las jirafas. So, bears are not as tall as giraffes. Giraffes. Another example. Roberto es igual de simpático. Yeah. So, here we have the one with igual de plus adjective, yeah? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es sus hermanos? So Roberto is equal. As nice as his My brother. Back. In English, you just say as nice as his brother. Okay. You wouldn't really say equally nice as. It doesn't sound right. Yeah. So like, yeah, as nice as. Yeah. So Lee y Ula son igual de encantadores. Okay. So Lee and, and Ula are equally uh, charming. Charming. Yeah. So encantador is like charming. Yeah. yeah. So this is the structure. Tan adjective como if you have the other bits. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you could place this igual de adjective and then yeah. que if you have the other bit. Okay. That is the basic structure. Mm 
O sea, Julia es tan alta como Marta, pero no es tan guapa. ¿Ya? So, Julia is as tall as Marta, but she isn't as uh, beautiful, ¿eh? guapa. Uh -huh. Soy igual de alto que mi hermana. So, I'm as tall as my brother. You could also say, soy tan alto como mi hermano. It's just another way, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you could say, tan alto como o igual de alto que. Pretty much the same. Mi hermano y yo somos igual de altos. Okay. We could is... also place the two nouns together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, you say, igual de adjective. It's just another way of comparing. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, so, let's talk about So, tan adjective como, really no. Igual de adjective ca, que. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, you say tan adjective como when you have a full uh, sentence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Oracion means what? Oracion is sen. Yeah, oracion means like a phrase with a verb. Okay. Uh -huh. Like a full sentence. Okay. So, in order to have una oracion, you, you need at least to have a verb. Okay. 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 What about if you don't have a full sentence. You could have a noun, you could have a pronoun, or you could have a possessive, okay? So, basically what this is, is saying is that if you have a full sentence, the only option you have is this one. You cannot really use igual de, okay? So this is why I suggest, if you have to learn one structure here, learn this one. Tan objetivo con. Now, let's uh, read a few sentences. Can you read these sentences here? Let me point out. Um, yeah. So, can you read all this here? Uh, Rafa no es tan uh, simpático como su hermano. Mm -hmm. So, Rafa is not as sympathetic or as nice mm -hmm. uh, as his brother. Mm -hmm. O soy igual de inteligente que vosotros. Uh -huh. Mi coche no es tan rápido como el tuyo. Tuyo, tuyo. Tuyo. Uh -huh. Julio no es tan guapo uh, como tú dices. Uh -huh. El español no es tan difícil como, uh, como yo pensaba. So Spanish isn't as difficult as I thought. Do you, do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think still Spanish, if you know English, Spanish mm -hmm. is easier to learn, I think, compared to mm -hmm. many other. Oh, like definitely, definitely. Different. That is like, I know English much better than my mother tongue, to be honest. Yeah, so. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is basically saying if you have it. Clara, so if you have a context of you know what you're talking about, the, so what do you compare it to, you don't really need to, to finish the full sentence. So, for example, mm -hmm. Felipe es muy amable, pero su hermana no es tan amable. So you can just finish with tan amable. Uh -huh. So we already know we're comparing so, my, uh, so you sister to Felipe, right? I don't need the como at the end. Exactly, because it's clear by context. Okay, Felipe. Los argentinos son muy agradables. Pues los chinos son igual de agradables. Here, again, the same. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, mm, okay. Um, Raúl, okay. No, oh, está mal. Right. Um, this one is a little bit tricky. When you're using the tan structure, and you want to finish like this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it must be a negative sentence. Okay? It, because if it's not a negative sentence, it's not possible. For example, Luis es tan guapo. This is not okay. okay. You could say, though, Luis es igual de guapo. 
Okay, so Luis is... Or you have to include the comma bit if it's a positive sentence. However, if it's a negative sentence, it's okay. You could say, yes, no, no es tan guapo. Or no son tan inteligente. Okay. Okay? So if you want like to uh, to finish it like this, it has to be in the negative with the tan structure. Or you use the other one. Igual de, yeah? Anyway. Mm -hmm. And if it is uh, positive, then I have to have the como thing at the end. Yeah. If it's negative, I can just stop with the tan plus the adjective. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Mm, let's practice number one here. So, mis hermanos son igual de altos. Okay. Uh, Ana está. Uh, Ana es tan, uh, tan alto como. Uh, okay, Ana is a woman, so yeah. alta. Alta, okay, okay, alta. Ana. Mm -hmm. So, Ana uh, es tan alta como su madre. Mm -hmm. Three. Fernando is equal de guapo. So, Fernando is a guy. Mm -hmm. So, de padre. Mm -hmm. So, let. Mm -hmm. uh, Four, Rob cuatro. Roberto y Luis son igual de. Uh, uh, sim uh, it'll be sympathetic because mm -hmm. it's, uh, simpaticos. Because plural. Mm -hmm. Cinco. Nuria es igual de antipática. Perfect. Antipática. Es igual de antip antipática is the opposite of simpático. Okay, okay, okay. So it means. Um, mm -hmm. Sympathetic is nice. Me, nasty, yeah, and nice, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. Mm -hmm. Says. Tus amigas son tan simpática, because it is amigas, como tú. Mm -hmm. Simpática, como tú. So you friends are as nice as nice. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Siete. Un, un perro puede ser tan, uh, uh, perro ser tan gran, uh, grande como... Un lobo. So, a dog can be as big as a wolf. So, lobo, lobo is wolf. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ocho. Uh, una moto uh, puede ser tan caro como, en, como un coche. Eh, puede ser Algo. tan caro. Sí, ok. Puede ser tan caro como un coche. Mm -hmm. Nueve. Ana y uh, Sofía son igual de... Trabaja, trabaja das. Trabaja, trabajadoras. Sí, trabajadoras. Sí, yeah, trabajadoras. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ana es, es igual de estudiosa que Sofía. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, no es difícil. Was it? Okay. Uh, yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's. Let's take a look at something. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look at this. Un y otro. Okay. Uh, this is quite easy, actually. So basically, un, una, unos, una, so un, una basically is a one. or an or one, yeah? So it's that the article, yeah? So when you say yeah. an Italian, a friend, an apple, yeah? And you have two of them. It depends if it's uh, masculine or feminine, yeah? Yeah. So you say una amiga, but un amigo, for example. Mm -hmm. You also have the plural though, which is unos y unas. In English, you would say sa, as in possible. So, for example, me han regalado unas flores. So I've been yeah. given, so I've been given as a present some flowers. Some flowers, yeah. Uh, you could also say one of yours or one of whatever yeah for example okay. uno de vosotros one of you guys okay uno de, uno de los participantes one of the contestants yeah or participant yeah? Mm -hmm. uno de tus hermanas one of your sister uno de esas cartas one of those uh, wallets etc etc yeah mm -hmm. 
No problem with this. I don't think that the one is going to be this. Probably the issue is going to be this one. Otro, otra, otros, otras. Okay. Why? Because in English, you say another. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, you don't really say an another. You just say other. Okay. For example, los blancos van a tener otro hijo. So remember, you don't say un otro hijo. It's simply otro hijo, okay? Okay. So when you use this, otro, otra, otras, otras, you don't really use an article like in English. Okay? Uh, han llegado otros tres alumnos. You can also use a number here. So otro tres alumnos. So three other students. Students, yeah. So. Um, Here again, hoy estoy ocupado. Today I'm busy. Ven otro día. Come another yeah. day. Okay, so that's otro día. Yeah. And then again, you don't really say another, you simply say other day. Okay. Ya, no so vi ya no vives aquí. You don't live here anymore. So ya no es aquí anymore. Yeah. yeah. No, ahora no. vivo en otro barrio. In another neighborhood. Okay. Uh, you could also use otro with el and la or me or tu. So okay. el otro plato. So give me the other plate. Uh -huh. So uh, what you cannot use together with this word is basically un, una or unos. Okay. So un otro, un, una otra forbidden in Spanish. You could say though el otro, so that will be the other one, okay, or the I'll other mean, whatever, yeah. Me so also to so the other children. My <laughs> other, exactly, my other son. So this is my other son. Uh, prefiero este ese otro. I prefer that other uh, banana. Okay. Yeah, or you could use a possessive as well, so my, your, whatever. So, mis otros dos primos, my other two cousins. Esas otras okay, you could also do the thing uh, we did before with uno una. So, you could say this uh, de, uh, for example, otro de nosotros. So, quiere que vaya otro de nosotros. Uh, another one of us. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, notice we don't really say another in Spanish, it's just other one of us. Pásame otro de los pasteles. Other. Another one another one of the cakes. Yeah? He perdido otro de mis plumas. I lost another one of my pen. Yeah. Oh, well. Pluma is like this old quill, you know, actually. Yeah, yeah. Dame otra de esas ciruelas. Give me another one of those uh, plums. No, ciruela okay. is plum. Yeah? Okay. Or you could also say something like this. El otro día. Other the, day. The other day. La otra noche. The other night. Yeah? Yeah. Or you could just say otro, which is another one. So take another one. Coge okay. otro. Coge otro. Coge otro. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's try an easy one. Mm. Okay, let's try number three here. Okay. Uh, so basically, you have to use otro, otra, otros, otras, and then some other ke uh, words if it's necessary, or like they, for example. So, he recibido otra postal de Carlos. So, I've received another postcard from Car Carlos. Yeah. Número dos. So, mira, ahí barosa con. Uh... Uh, con otros sus uh, sombreros. Um, okay, With... actually, it's another one of her hats. Oh, so, okay, so then con, con uh, otro bro, okay. de sus sombreros. De, de sus sombreros. Okay. So look, there, uh, there goes Rosa. With another hat of uh, with another of her hats, yeah. Okay. So okay. a pronunciation was ahí. Ahí va. Okay. Okay. Before moving on, I'd like to point out something important, which is different from English. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna talk at the moment. 
I'm gonna talk about three little words we use a lot. Mm, just to clarify a very, very common mistake. Okay, so basically, in English, you have two words to talk about the place. So you basically have here and there, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In Spanish, you have five words. Uh, let me explain why. Okay. Um, so let's talk about here. Basically, you have two versions. You could say either aquí, you could say acá. Okay. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. There is a little difference between these two, but uh, practically speaking, they are interchangeable. Okay? So you could choose either one. In Spain, we usually say aquí. In Latin America, they usually say acá. Okay. So. Now, the problem is, how do you say it there? It depends about the place you mean. If you mean the place where the person is listening to from, okay? Oh. But for example, in Miami, you're talking to me on the phone, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you talk about Spain, and you want to say, there where I am. Okay. Then you should say, I. So, mm -hmm. I. It's more there. Is it there, but meaning the place where you are, uh -huh. where my listener is, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if I mean a place that is neither my place or your place, then I'm gonna use either allí or allá. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is why it is wrong to say, estás allí? This is a very common mistake. This is wrong. Why? Because I'm talking about your place. So, yes, so estás ahí? Ahí, so because, okay. Because mm -hmm. ahí, like allí or allá, Oh, as neither your nor mine place. So it's the exactly. same. So I is your listeners, your listener or listeners place. Okay. If you mean some other place, allí, allá. Okay. Uh, it could also mean something like an intermediate distance. So remember in Spanish, we have like three distances. Like we have like the place that is near me, the place that is near you, and the place that is far from both of us. Okay, okay. And the same happened when we was okay. We'll see um, what we mean. Um, so when we talk about this and that, it's gonna be the same. Like you're gonna have three distances. Okay, but I don't want to talk about that because uh, this is just too much uh, for today. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, if you mean my place where I am, you're gonna say I. Not uh, allí. If you're uh, gonna say, if we talk about China, we will say allí, for example. I, okay. Okay. So that's basically the difference. So, uh, okay. So this was otro de su sombrero. Three. Okay. okay. Pasame la yara. Uh, jarra. La, la jarra. Uh, la otro jarra. Otra. Yeah. So, jarra is a picture, okay? That is feminine, okay, so after... Mm -hmm. Very important word, if you like beer. Oh, okay. Jarra de cerveza. Okay. So, this, uh, this one is empty. Esta está vacía. Okay. So, pass yeah. me another, another picture. This one is empty. Vacío, yeah? yeah. vacía, yeah? yeah? Four. Uh, necesito que me ayude... Uh, uh, otro, uh, vosotros. Otro. Otro de. Uh, de vosotros. So another one of you. Another one of so you. So I need another one of you to help me. Yeah, me. It's okay. necessary for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Notice we use the subjunctive here. Yeah. Yeah. Are you the? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Ayuda becomes the. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cinco. Uh, Pasame otra esos platanos. So, otro otra. de esos platanos. Oh, okay. So, that pass is... me another one of those bananas, please. Oh, okay. So, that is male. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Me okay. quedan. Uh, ot uh, otro dos años. So, two years. Otros. De dos, uh, or... Otros de otros dos años. So, uh, okay, let's talk about this me queda, very common in Spanish. So me, me queda. queda means I, I have left 
Okay. Yes, you're right. Uh, however, pay attention at the way the word, the verb is uh, conjugated. If you mean I stay, uh -huh. you wouldn't say me queda. You would say me quedo. Oh, okay. So yeah, okay. notice it's being used like gustar. Ah, okay, okay. So when you use this verb like gustar, uh, it doesn't mean to stay in a place or to stay home, things like that. It means okay. uh, like I have left. So basically, you could use it in you could use it to, to talk about time or to talk about money or things you have left in general. Mm -hmm. like, so here we talk about time. As you can see, dos años. Yeah. So. so this means the time I have to finish this okay. uh, degree. So I still have two years to go okay. to finish uh, the degree, okay. my studies, okay, my university studies. Okay. So I, I still have two more years two to hours. go to finish. Or literally, I. So me quedan will be I have left, basically, yeah? So I have left all other two years to okay. finish my uh, degree. My degree, or the degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Siete. So tía Sara, tía está aquí y mis otras... Aquí. Aquí, ah, aquí y mis otras dos... Uh... Mm -hmm. Otras dos tías, okay. So tía Sara ya está aquí. My aunt, uh, my aunt Sara is already here. Yeah. Aquí, okay. Yeah, that's the and my other two aunts are coming tomorrow. Morning. Um, tomorrow, mañana. Mm -hmm. Mañana, very important word. <laughs> why are you gonna get? Why are you gonna finish? Mañana, mañana. Yeah, yeah. it's always tomorrow. Yeah. No, it's like Shakespeare. Tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow, and tomorrow. Mañana is tomorrow. <laughs> Ocho. Okay. Este coche no es muy bien. Muy bueno, muy bueno. Muy, muy bueno. Pero mi um, uh, otro coche es, uh, es un pedal. Uh, mm -hmm. So this car is not very good, but yeah. my other car is a Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. So este coche no es muy bueno. Pero mi good. otro coche es un Ferrari. Mm -hmm. okay. Nueve, nine. Uh, Nine is not there. I think it is the next one, right? Uh, here at the, at the top. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Julia vino a verme el otro día. Mm -hmm. So Hace... Julia came to see me the other day. I remember when you have this mete, uh, oh, you have two verbs like this. You you have two options, either here or at the beginning here. So you could say Julia me vino a ver. So, yeah. so this is saying yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. El leído uh, um, tus libros, so, otros, uh, um, uh, otras, uh, no, otros, otro, otros, otros, tus libros, so, your otro, book. Otro, another one of your books. No, of the okay, of so, the I've already read another one of your books. So, ya he leído otro de tus libros. Mm -hmm. Once. Uh, la, uh, la otra tarde. Uh, la otra tarde, good. Estuve con Carlos. Okay. So that means uh, the other evening or afternoon. Yes. So that could be both evening and afternoon. Okay? No, no, estuve con Carlos. I was. Carlos. Estuve con Carlos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I think it just. I think I just finished the time oh. second. Oh, yes. okay. Is it closed? Yeah, I think. All But right. anyway, the last one. Anyways, Don't worry. The last one was Cántame otra de tus canciones. So sing yeah. for uh, me yeah. another one of your songs. Yeah. Cántame mm -hmm. otra de tus canciones. Okay. So uh, Cántame otra de tus canciones. Okay, don't worry. You'll see that in the video. I'm going to yeah, stop.